In this video, I'm going to work out an individual integral. We're going to take a look at the integral of cosecant x dx. We are going to come up with just a standard result. This is um, oftentimes an integral that many people will just go ahead and memorize because it's used a lot. Um, however, if you know a simple little trick to do this integral, then it turns out to be a nice little u substitution on the integral. So as long as you know the trick, then you wouldn't have to necessarily memorize this. Okay, so for this one, what um, the trick is that's going to make it a nice, easy u substitution would be to choose to multiply by a form of 1, and I'm going to choose my form of 1 being cosecant x plus cotangent x, and as long as I multiply by a form of 1, I am not changing that original um, function at all. Okay, so that's what the trick is. I'm going to choose to multiply by that form of 1. I'm going to take this cosecant and then distribute there on the top. So then I'm going to have the integral of a cosecant squared x plus a cosecant x cotangent x, and that will be all over cosecant x plus cotangent x dx. All right, now hopefully at this point you can see um, how you're going to use a u substitution with that denominator there being um, really close to that numerator for our u substitution. So we are going to let u be the cosecant x plus cotangent x. I'm going to take a derivative of both sides, so I have a du is equal to a negative cosecant x cotangent x and then derivative there of that cotangent is going to be a negative cosecant squared x dx. If I go ahead and solve for my dx, I'll have a du over a negative cosecant x cotangent x. I'm going to go ahead and switch that to a minus cosecant squared x and then that equaling my dx. Okay, so from there we'll come back up here and we will do some substitutions. Um, we'll have the integral. Our numerator is still going to be the cosecant squared x plus the cosecant x cotangent x. Our denominator we'll replace with our u. Our dx we will replace with a du over. Now what I'm going to do right here is so that this will match, since this is all positives and this is all negatives, I'm going to factor out a negative 1 and then that will leave me with a positive cosecant x cotangent x and then plus a cosecant squared x. So factoring out that negative there then creates the two terms that can be crossed out. So I can cross out the numerator and denominator. I can take the negative and pull it out in front of my integral. So negative, the integral of 1 over u du. And then that integrates real easily to be the natural log. So I've got a negative natural log absolute value of u plus c. And replacing that u with what it equals, we've got a negative natural log absolute value cosecant x plus cotangent x and then plus c, which pretty much is your standard result. So definitely, um, thanks for watching. As long as you know this trick, then it turns out to be a nice little u substitution. All right, otherwise you are just going to have to memorize this integral of cosecant x. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so that they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks. In this video, I'm going to be working out an individual integral problem. We're going to be taking a look at the integral of cosecant x, secant x, dx. I have two reciprocal trig identities written up here um, just because those are going to be our first two that we're going to start with. Um, anytime you are working with trig functions inside integrals or derivatives or any of those things, it really is helpful to know all of your trig identities, your Pythagorean identities, your double angle formulas for just a variety of substitutions. Um, throughout this problem we will use more than just these two, uh, but these two are the ones that we're going to start off with. Okay, so I have a cosecant and a secant. I know both of those have reciprocal identities of 1 over sine and 1 over cosine. So that's the direction I'm going to go first. We're going to, and I'm just going to write 1 on top of both of these and make it 1 over sine x cosine x. Okay, now at this point, um, I'm going to 
again, choose to do something to this to alter it to get it in a different form that I can work with a little bit easier here. Now, keeping in mind, as long as I multiply this by a form of 1, I'm not honestly changing the equation at all. So I'm going to choose to multiply by cosine x over cosine x. So cosine x over cosine x there. I'm going to choose to multiply by that form of 1. All right, what that's going to give me then is I'll have the integral of cosine x in the top, and then I'll have a sine x and then a cosine squared x in the bottom. Okay, now it's a matter of taking a look at this and seeing if I can do some more substitutions with the uh, trig identities, reciprocal identities, and that such. I've got a cosine over a sine. Okay, so if I do cosine over sine right there, I'm going to have a cotangent. So that's one I don't have listed up here, but that's a pretty common one. All right, and then putting in that imaginary one that would be right there, one over cosine squared, all right, just like this, 1 over cosine is secant, well, 1 over cosine squared is going to be a secant squared. So I can divide that up and do some substitutions. So then I'm going to have the integral of, from this first one, cotangent x, and then from the second one, I'll have a secant squared x, dx. All right, now, I still don't have anything that um, I'm going to be able to pick a u yet for, but um, another substitution here, I know that cotangent is going to be 1 over tangent, and then that's going to get me somewhere because tangent and secant squared has that connection. All right, so I'm going to do one more substitution for cotangent, and I'm going to make it 1 over tangent x times that secant x squared, and then dx. All right, and then um, I wrote it separately just so that you could see this. Okay, let's go ahead and put that together as a nice integral here, secant squared x over tangent x dx. Okay, now at this point I am finally um, able to pick a u because I've got a nice correlation between that tangent x and that secant squared x. So at this point I'm going to let u equal that tangent x. And then we know to take the derivative of both sides, and we're going to get that secant squared x dx. Going ahead and solving for that dx, we'll have du over secant squared x equaling that dx. Okay, so let's uh, take this integral now and do some substituting here. Um, I'll have the integral of secant squared x on top. I can replace the tangent with the u on the bottom. Replacing the dx with what that equals... I'll have my du over that secant squared x. So at this point, everything is working out really nicely because those secant um, squared x's are crossing out, and I'm going to have the integral of a 1 over u du, and we know how to integrate that. That will be natural log. So at that point, we'll have natural log, absolute value of u plus c, and we said u was tangent. So then we'll have the natural log, absolute value, tangent x, plus C for a final answer. Okay, so after going through all of those various uh, trig substitutions, we finally get down to an integral where it's just a basic U substitution. All right, but the key here, and I think with almost any trig integral, is having a really good grasp on all of those reciprocal identities, the trig identities, double angle formulas, anything where you can do enough substitutions to where you can hopefully lead yourself into a plain straight out just use substitution. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, don't forget to share with your friends and also subscribe to the channel. Thanks. In this video, I'm going to work out an individual integral. It is going to be a basic U substitution integral that you would learn really early on, right after you'd learned U substitution. We're going to integrate x cosecant of 3x squared cotangent 3x squared dx. So I'm going to start by letting my U be that inside portion of the function of 3x squared. So I'm going to let U equal 3x squared. I'm going to take the derivative of both sides, so du is equal to a 6x dx. Then I'm going to go ahead and solve all the way down for dx. I'm going to divide both sides by that 6x, so du is over 6x, and that is equal to our dx. Okay. Now I'm going to come back up here to the original integral and start making substitutions. I'm still going to have the integral, and then I'll have the x, and then I'll substitute u in for cosecant u, 
cotangent u, taking the dx, I'm going to substitute in du over 6x. That's going to allow me to cross out the x's. All right, I will also be able to take this 1 6th and pull it out in front. So I'm going to have a 1 6th integral cosecant u cotangent u du. All right, now at this point, the only way you're going to be able to finish this is if you have this integral memorized. All right, this is a negative cosecant u. All right, so that is just something that, you know, it's one of those integrals, trig integrals you have to have memorized. Okay, so um, we'll have the 1 6. Let's go ahead and leave that in, out in front. Okay, and then times integrating this, I get a negative cosecant u. I can go ahead and put the plus c on there because I'm done integrating. I'm going to replace my u, pull the negative out in front there, cleaned up a little bit, so negative 1 6 and then cosecant of the 3x squared and then plus c. So definitely a straightforward u substitution problem all right, that you would learn very, very early on. You pick that inside function for your u, it works out pretty nice. And then getting over to here, you have to have this, in, this trig integral memorized in order to be able to complete the problem. Definitely, thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks. In this video, I'm going to be working on individual integral. We're going to take a look at the integral of the square root of cotangent x cosecant squared x dx. Now this is going to be a straightforward integral, nothing fancy. It's going to be a regular u substitution because as you can see that if I let u be that cotangent um, of x, the derivative there would be a negative cosecant squared x. So things are going to fall out really, really nicely. So we're going to start by letting u equal that inside function of cotangent x. When I take the derivative of both sides there, I'll have a du equals a negative cosecant squared x dx. If I go ahead and solve for dx, I'll have a du over a negative cosecant squared x is equal to dx. So we're going to do that u substitution right off the bat. Then we can come up to our original equation and do some substitutions. All right, so we'll have the integral of the square root of u. So we'll go ahead and put that in times the cosecant squared of x is still going to be there. Replacing dx with what we set that equal to, we'll have a du over a negative cosecant squared x. And then that's going to real nicely let those cosecant squared x's cross out. I'm going to then be able to pull that negative out in front, so I'll have a negative, the integral of the square root of u du. Now to be able to do that integral, it's going to be easier if we rewrite it as a power. So we'll have negative square, uh, negative the integral of u raised to the one half du. I can integrate that by adding one. That'll be a three halves there, so we can multiply in front by that reciprocal. So we'll have a negative two thirds u raised to the three halves, and then our plus c. Last step, we can replace that u with what we originally let it equal. So negative two-thirds times the cotangent of x raised to the three-half powers plus c. So definitely a very straightforward u substitution um, there on that integral. About the only uh, thing that you might need to definitely remember there would be turn that radical into that fractional exponent so that it makes it easier to integrate. Definitely thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks! In this video I'm going to work out an individual integral. It is going to be a basic u substitution integral which would typically be found in that Calc 1 class for that beginning calculus student. All right, we're integrating here cosecant squared of 3x plus 5. All right, we've got a composite function here. Good place to start with letting your u be would be that inside portion of that composite function, so that 3x plus 5. So we're going to say let u equal 3x plus 5. We're going to go ahead and take the derivative of both sides. So du is equal to a 3 dx. All right, then I'm going to go ahead and solve all the way down for dx. So I'll have a du over a 3 is equal to dx. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to come back up here to my original integral, and I'm going to start making some substitutions. The cosecant squared is going to stay put. All right, I'm going to replace the 3x plus 5 with a u. I'm going to replace dx with the du over 3. All right, now what that's going to do is going to ensure that I can clearly see that I need to pull out a one-third out in front of that integral. So I'm going to pull out the one-third. I'll have the integral of a cosecant squared u du. All in terms of u now, and hopefully in the beginning Calc 1 class at this point, you have the integral of cosecant squared u memorized as the um, negative cotangent. All right, so when I integrate here, it'll be a negative, so I'll put that negative in front of the one-third, and then I'll have a cotangent of u plus c. All right, last step then would be to take that u and replace it with what we have there, so it'll be a negative one-third cotangent of a 3x plus 5, and then plus c. So definitely a straightforward u substitution there. You have to have the integral of cosecant squared u memorized. All right, and definitely on the u substitution, pick that inside portion of that function. Definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, please be sure to share with your friends so they can benefit too. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.